So let's see if we have this physical and chemical changes concept down. A physical change is when a substance only changes in appearance, but not in chemical makeup. So when I cut a banana in half it is still a banana. When I cut the grass it is still grass. When I crack an egg and put it in a bowl it is still an egg. Yeah, those are all physical changes. One thing about physical changes can be undone. So even when you cut the grass, it will grow back. When a ice melts and becomes liquid water all you would need to do is put it back in the freezer in order for it to be ice again. Okay let's talk about chemical changes then. Once a chemical change occurs I may see at least one new substance form. Right, but in this case the change can't be undone. So if you fry an act the act white goes from being clear to white in color. We can't undo this change so it is chemical. And the mold that forms on my bread is a new substance. That portion of the bread is no longer bread and I also can't undo the mold and turn it back to a piece of the bread. Learning about physical and chemical changes wasn't so bad at all. But how would they be different from physical and chemical properties? Physical properties are the things that can be observed like color, shape, texture, density, luster, and magnetism just to name a few. Physical changes occur when what we've observed has changed but the matter itself has not. And chemical changes means that something new has formed like when a metal toy truck is sitting outside for months and rusting occurs. The rust is the new substance indicating a chemical change has occurred. Since the truck is a metal it has the ability to rust. This ability to rust is a chemical property of the material that is used to make the toy truck. Yeah, this is pretty easy stuff. I think we will do well on the upcoming matter quiz this week. Glad to hear it.